Kearley. Um, I too would like to welcome the Minister back to the House um, this afternoon and welcome the opportunity to participate in this um, very valued debate. Um, the, the mission of the Department of Education and Skills is to enable learners to achieve their full potential and contribute to Ireland's economic, social and cultural development. So what's wrong with the present junior cert? When the results come out every year, we read about the number of students who get 14 A's or 13 honours. We see the smiling pictures in the newspapers. Well, the lucky ones who get 14 A's, I certainly wasn't one of them. The smiling pictures in the newspapers. And we frown sometimes, unfortunately, over the reports of alcohol-fueled celebrations and public disorder that night. Then that's it for another year. The students buy the exam papers as soon as they're published in September and start practicing for June. And for many of them, that's the reality. What we do need to do is to focus on the reality that the current Junior Cert Cycle programme is not enabling students to become independent learners, to achieve their full potential or to acquire the skills necessary for lifelong learning. When the Junior Cycle was introduced 20 odd years ago, its objectives were to move away from the rigid exam based rote learning that had characterised the old InterCert, and initially hopes were high. The programme was based on the clear principles of breadth and balance, relevance and quality. But as the programme evolved, it came to be viewed really, in my opinion, as a mini leave insert, with the focus completely on the end results and many of the original aims got lost in the process. The new junior cycle aims to place the needs of our students at the core of what happens in schools and to improve the quality of their learning experiences and outcomes. Such an approach should enable all students to achieve their full potential and be properly challenged in their learning, thereby raising educational standards. We've all heard the phrase, Ireland has the best educational standards in the world, trotted out on many occasions in the past. In fact, I think we heard it so often that we actually believed it and probably became complacent regarding the skills we assumed our students had acquired having completed their second level education. But alarm bells should have been ringing when third level institutions were highlighting the lack of independent and self-directed learning skills that undergraduates were displaying and employers bemoaned the drop in standards in basic literacy and numeracy. It's clear that for far too long our teaching and learning in the classroom has focused on attainment in exams which has promoted rote learning and stifled creativity. A case, I think, of the tail wagging the dog. The new junior cycle programme will address these failings by emphasising seven key skills, the primary one being literacy and numeracy. By removing the rigid focus on the terminal exam as the ultimate goal, schools will now be empowered to design programmes tailored to their own individual school settings. The evidence of the decline in our educational standards is clear and very worrying. One in ten children, as the Minister has alluded to already, in Irish schools has serious difficulty with reading or writing. In some disadvantaged schools, this is as high as almost one in three students. There has been a decline in the performance of post-primary students in Ireland in international literacy tests. For example, in 2000, Irish 15-year-old students performed at the above average level in the OECD's programme for international student assessment, or PISA, coming fifth. But in 2009, Ireland performed at the average level, coming 17th out of 34. This is a startling decline. The 2009 tests show that 17% of all Irish 15-year-olds and almost one in four teenage boys lack uh, the literacy skills to perform effectively in today's society. Based on this evidence, it is a welcome, um, to, to, uh, we welcome the, the national strategy to improve numeracy and literacy among children and young people, um, which the Minister has uh, introduced. This strategy provides a clear roadmap on where the education system needs to go and a clear view of the collaborative role of all the educational partners. Just for a few minutes, I'd like to, to, to focus in on the literacy as well and I ask, what exactly is literacy and how do we interpret it? Traditionally, we have always thought about literacy as the skills of reading and writing. But today, our understanding of literacy encompasses much more than that. Literacy includes the capacity to read, to understand and critically appreciate various forms of communication, 
including spoken language, printed text, broadcast media and digital media. Not only do young people need to be able to read and understand the written texts, texts but they must also be able to critically analyse the content of what they are reading. The Wikipedia and Google generation must be given the tools to help them discern what is fact from fiction. Developing good literacy and numeracy skills among all the young people is fundamental to the life chances of each individual and essential to the quality and equity of Irish society. The new Junior Cert framework recognises that the development of children's literacy and numeracy skills in post-primary schools is not just the responsibility of teachers of languages and maths. Teachers of all post-primary subjects have an important role to play in developing and consolidating students' ability to use literacy and numeracy. It should be recognised, I, I feel also, Minister, that learners in Irish medium schools and settings have very varied learning needs and that they need to be able to develop literacy skills in both Irish and English. The implementation of the numeracy and literacy and the new junior cert uh, framework relies on the collaboration and cooperation of the entire school community, from management, teachers, students and parents. No one group can affect change on its own. International research shows that the support of parents who are engaged in their child's learning, as we've already heard today, has a significant positive impact on the child's educational achievement, especially in literacy and numeracy. Young people achieve better when their parents take an active interest in their education, supporting and encouraging them and creating high but achievable expectations. The move away from one single terminal exam towards a system of school-based assessment will ensure that parents will be provided with more comprehensive feedback on the continuing attainments of their children. It will allow students to review their own progress and discuss their progress with their teachers and other students with a view to identifying the next steps to be taken. This will help to build students' capacity to manage their own learning and their motivation to stick with a complex task or problem. It will also form the basis of more informed conversations between parents and schools on the learning of their students. I would like to commend the Minister for his obvious commitment to raising educational standards of our young people. As a teacher with over 25 years' experience, I hate saying that every time, I am acutely aware of how the immense, <laughs> immense experience. I am thank you. I'll use that the next time. I am acutely aware of how the present system is failing many of our students, and I look forward with great enthusiasm to the imminent changes. Thank you. Thank you.